Welcome back to Code Wonka. Today we will be solving lead code problem kth missing positive integer. This is one of the popular fan question as of October 2024. Let's go over the question. Given an array of positive integers sorted in a strictly increasing order and an integer k, return the kth positive integer that is missing from this array. Let's look at the example to understand the question better. The input array is this, k is equals to 5, the output is 9 because the missing positive integers are these and out of these, the fifth missing positive integer is 9. Let's brainstorm about the solution using this example test case where k is equals to 4 and this is the input array. The expected output is 8, which is the fourth missing positive integer. We know that the array is sorted. That gives us hint to use binary search. We want to find a way to direct our search. If we can somehow compute how many integers are missing before the element at an index, then we can use that information to direct our binary search. To do that, Let's compare the input array with no missing integer array. So by comparing, we can say that before element 2, there is one missing integer, which is integer 1. Similarly, before 3, there is one missing integer. Before 4, there is one missing integer. Before element 7, there are three missing integers, which are 1, 5 and 6. Before 11, there are 6 missing integers, which is 1, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. From comparison of the two arrays, we can draw the observation that number of missing integers before an element is a simple difference between corresponding elements of the two arrays. Now next, let's try to formulate the missing integers information to be drawn from indices of the input array so that we don't need to maintain the no missing integer array. These are the indices of the input array. If you observe the indices of input array and no missing integer array value differ by one. Now we can formulate the missing integer information based on indices. That is number of missing integers before element array index is equal to array index minus index plus 1. For example, we are at index 3 where the element is 7. Then before 7, there will be 3 missing integers where this computation represents this formula over here. Now that we know we have to use binary search using missing integer information, let's visualize our solution. We'll begin our search in full array. The search window will be represented by left and right pointers. Next, we choose the middle element as the pivot. We compute the missing integer information based on index. That is, there is one missing integer before element 4. Since we need to find the fourth missing positive integer, so we need to direct our search in the right direction. Next, we contract our search window. We pick the middle element as the pivot. We compute the missing integer information based on the index. That is, before 7, there are 3 missing integers. Because we want to find the fourth one, we will direct our search in the right direction. We contract our search window. We pick the middle element as the pivot. And now there are 6 missing integers before element 11. We want the fourth one, so we will direct our search in the left direction. We do this by changing the right pointer to pivot index minus 1. Now we will stop our binary search because at this point, left pointer will be greater than the right pointer. This is the state we are at and we want to find the fourth missing integer which is 8. So next, let's determine how we will find 8. These are the numbers of missing integers before the element at the index. We know that the fourth missing integer is between element 7 and 11. So it's either 8, 9 or 10. We know that at 7, there are three missing integers. So the fourth missing integer in the input array 
has to be the first missing integer from element 7 which can be calculated like this where 7 comes from the right index element 4 comes from value k and 3 comes from missing integer information at element 7. Over here 4 minus 3 represents the first missing element from 7. The values in this computation can be represented by these three variables. Now we add the variables to the computation. Let's simplify the variable computation by removing the positive negative combination. So we are left with this computation in code being represented like this, which will be equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1, which is 8. So we found our fourth missing integer 8. We will return it. Let's look at the code of the solution. We initialize our left and right pointers. We start our binary search using this while loop. Next, we select the pivot element, which would be the middle element. Then we check if the missing integer information is greater than k. Then we direct our binary search in the left direction. Else, we direct our binary search in the right direction. Finally, we return the kth missing positive integer. Let's do complexity analysis of the code. The total time is O of log n because of the binary search. The total space is O of 1 because we are not using any additional storage. Please leave your feedback in the comment section. If you think the video is helpful in learning, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned.